Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be going over what fits in my Bottega Veneta mini cassette bag. So I got it, I think about a month ago now, I got it during the Labor Day sale and I did the unboxing um, video. And actually I have worn it more than I expected. I knew I was gonna get use out of it, but I've used it more than I even thought. So if you remember in that video, I said that I sold my Gucci bag and that I basically used the funds of that to pay for this. And I'm happy I did that because in the past two years, I think I mentioned I wore like I wore the Gucci bag maybe three times. Well, since then I have used the Bottega bag like, I don't know, I've lost count. So, so far it is a good buy. So before we get started, I would love if you would like this video and subscribe to my channel, even turn on the notification so you get a little ding ding every time I post. So yeah, I guess we'll get started. This is the bag I got. It's the mini cassette. Um, I'll put the measurements down below. But here you can see it's pretty tiny. I'll compare it to my Chanel bag actually for you guys. You see the width. When I got this bag, I think I mentioned, I always carry my cell phone in my back pocket. So it not fitting in here, don't even care about that. So I'm gonna open it up and then you'll see how stuffed it is. That took me a little bit longer than I would like to admit to get. I have a lipstick. AirPods, which honestly I never carry. I just stuffed them in here because I know a lot of people do. My hand sanitizer, which if you like small bags, you need to buy this. I'll show you why. A lip balm, key fob and house key. And honestly, never carry these because I never drive. I always make my husband drive. And if I do, it's not a big deal because it's probably for a quick errand. Cash, a card case, a receipt. <laughs> a hair tie, and some change, which I'm gonna take out because I don't want that to ruin my bag. Anyway, so that's everything that fit in here. And if you ask me, like that's a lot for this size bag. So a couple things. If you like small bags, you need to get this hand sanitizer because look, it's smaller than a card case. So you need this because that we're all carrying it right now or hand sanitizer now. So yeah, don't waste space for a normal one. This Bottega Veneta bag actually has, and I'm gonna actually take out a card that isn't a credit card, but it's mine here. So really, if I wanted more real estate in here, I can forego this and just put like my card in the little card slot that they had. Like if you really were that strapped for room. So now putting things back in there, I could even stand my hand sanitizer this way, but I'm gonna put it sideways. Lip balm lipstick because i always have like a couple options to be honest the lipstick now can stand since i don't have a card case that's what it is so far could put the airpods in there the key fob and i still have room at the top if i really wanted to add something like it bulges a little bit but i don't care because it's small um but yeah, I feel like that is a lot for a small bag. It's not as tiny, like obviously it is tiny. If you're carrying a bag like this, you probably don't normally carry much, but I mean, it's doable. I wanted to compare it to my mini Vanity Chanel, whatever the heck it's called. So here side by side, you can see that the Chanel one is taller and wider, but what you lack with um, in like width, like you get in length here. I'm gonna see if I could stuff the same amount of things or like the original contents into the Chanel bag. So originally we had the card case, we had the hand sani, the lipstick, and the Chanel one actually has a spot for a lipstick. We had AirPods, we had a lip balm. Actually, not fitting now, and the cart or the key fob. So it does not fit, so the Chanel does not fit as much as the Bottega. Oh, I feel like I have a hair in my face. Um, so I'm trying to see different ways I can maneuver this. Maybe put this down. Oh yeah, if I adjust the lip balm, I could put it down. So they carry about the same. It's just like the way you configure it. Um, and that said, the way it's configured, I don't think it's like, a, I don't feel like it's Tetris to get to whatever I need. It's Tetris to get the items in there, but then once I need it, it's really easy to pull out what I need. So yeah, I just wanted to review really quickly what fits in the bag because like I said, I was shocked at how much I actually got in there and how much 
I've been using it. I actually traveled to Chicago a couple weeks ago, or last weekend, maybe two weekends ago, whatever, doesn't matter. I traveled to Chicago a couple weeks ago, and this was the only purse I brought. Literally the only purse. The only other thing that was kind of like a purse was a, um, was like my Louis Vuitton toiletry bag, but that I really just use in my toe for when I'm traveling. I don't end up using it as like a purse very often, unless it's like a date night. And then um, I brought a fanny pack because we were going to a baseball game. But still like this, is, other than that, when I was out and about shopping, going out to dinner um, at the airport, this is what I used. It was perfect. I cannot recommend this enough. Um, I'm so glad I got it. I'm so glad I got this color too, because I was a little worried that it was out there, but no, it, it looks fly. I'll post pictures of my airport outfit because I thought I was killing it. Like I'm repeating that off, outfit all fall along. Um, but yeah, I wanted to let you guys know just in case there's like fall sales coming up. Yes, snag this if you can. Thank you for watching. I so appreciate you. I, I'm loving chatting with a couple of you um, in the comments. I mean, it's it's not every video, it's here and there, but I really appreciate it. I feel like we're starting to build a little community and I'm here for it. That's why I started YouTube. I feel like I found my people, right? This is a safe space. We all like purses, makeup, fashion. You guys are my people. Anyway, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.